Thank you very much. You said Churchill was here. So we will win. I think that uh, this is because enemy is the same. Uh, great honor to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you for your big, big support for our, just for our people, our country, our men and women, our children. They are very strong. Thank you so much. They are strong because we have such strong friends. Norway. Thank you so much. Thank you so kind words, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the Parliament, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, esteemed journalists, and all the guests, dear people of Norway, it's an honor to address the Norwegian Parliament and people for the second time and now in person. And I'm here to personally thank you for the incredible support Norway has given Ukraine. Protecting against aggression is always about saving lives, lives that could be lost to an enemy's destruction, cruelty, and deportation. And we are saving lives together with you. And thanks to you, thank you again. Norway. Thank you very much. This is to you. Thank you so much. And I am and I'm reminded of a, of a phrase well known in Norway that resonates, I think resonates with our feelings, especially on February 24th, why it, why it wasn't a triumph of Russian aggression, but of the unity of different countries and people for freedom. The phrase? The phrase goes, sure, we were not many, but we were enough. And it's so true. On February 24th and in the early weeks of the full-scale war, uh, there weren't many, many leaders or countries who, who really believed that freedom could stand up to Russia. We had less weaponry, a smaller it's a fact, a small army, but enough courage. And we stood firm. The world eventually understood who we are and who is with us. And Norway did not hesitate and stood with us from the first hours with your hearts, the most important, with your hearts, with your minds and aid. And there weren't many at the time, but we were enough to change the world enough to make the world believe in power of freedom and hope for victories in such cruel war. Ladies and gentlemen, people of Norway, I had addressed you for the first time on the 35th day of full-scale war. Today is the 658th day. Yes, and it's been a colossal, colossal way, but we still have a way to go to protect freedom and ensure our people's and Europe's security. We need the world's attention and support now as much as ever. Why? Because while we now have effective weapons, we will lack enough to fight this war on conditions of freedom, not those dictated by the enemy. The world majority now sees Russian aggression as a crime, but Putin has found bodies in Iran and North Korea receiving weapons that kill our people. Unfortunately, dictatorships supply Russia more regularly than many democracies supply Ukraine. A million artillery shells from Pyongyang to Putin, it's happening. And I thank everyone in Europe who helps us withstand this pressure and supports us precisely as needed, enough to protect freedom and rules-based world order. 
we now know how to inflict painful losses on Russia, which might eventually bring them to a sober reality. But, but it's, it's the 658th day, and sadly not everyone can stay focused on defending freedom for so long. Yesterday I was in the United States, and uh, you all know the challenges with supporting our defense here in Europe, also the potential weakening or interruption of American leadership is defending the free world inspires dictators at the mere possibility. Putin might enter the new year in high spirits, and it wouldn't be Ukraine's fault. And that's why I'm so grateful to you, Norway, to all our partners in the region, and you've maintained your attention on Ukraine, just like at the war's start. You wish for our victory and care about our people's fate. You helped, helped us last winter when Russia tried to destroy our energy infrastructure and make Ukrainians freeze, freeze to death. And you're uh, helping us now against new missile attacks. And you are doing this without delays. Thank you so much. And Russia hasn't succeeded, and we can continue to prevent their victories, and we will do it. Norway was the first to approve a long-term support program for us, for our families, for Ukraine, setting an example of other nations. Today, in Oslo, we had the Nordic Plus Ukraine Summit, and I've heard that our regional partner support is becoming long-term. Huge step. I'm thankful very much from all of us. And it's not just about sending the right signal to Moscow that Ukraine won't be left uh, unsupported. It's about the right signal to our people, to our soldiers, everyone in Ukraine fighting and working for freedom. And this is important for people's motivation. And not only in Ukraine, the whole world is witnessing how we fight, what we can do, compared what the enemy of freedom can do. And I'm proud of the Ukrainian warriors and our people, brave men and women, who have done extraordinary things. Ukraine has reclaimed 50% of the territories Russia took after February 24th. And we won the Black Sea restoring free navigation in our waters, thanks in particular to your NASAMs. Harpoons and other support, and we are struggling to get the badly needed air defense to control the sky and to win the sky the way we won the Black Sea. And once the sky is under our control, we will keep regaining our land step by step, step by step, the occupied territory. Ukraine defends itself for the same reasons you wouldn't tolerate the enemy. Ukraine will protect itself because we have the right to live freely, freely just like all other nations. Ukraine stands firm in this fight, not only because of our, of our character, but because we, like, like you, like you, the people of Norway and all who help us perceive freedom the same way. The 21st, the 21st century should not be a time for dictators to triumph, and it won't be. We must do enough for this. Anyone who visits Norway immediately sees that life and people are the winners. That's how your country is organized, with respect for life and for people. And when you say words, they are not hollow. And when you give promises, you deliver on them. And when you see injustice, you act. These are the principles, real principles. Principles underpin the freedom. And if you are brave, maybe, maybe it's not many, but enough to win. Thank you, Norway, very much. Slava Ukraine. Thank you so much. Thank you.